how to change a man. Do you know in the Bible? Oh, Tom, God has changed the world with one man. Every time God wants to do, I want men to understand how valuable they are, how important, how significant they are to God. Whenever God wanted to do something transformative, he called out to one single man, Tom. Not a whole community, not a group of gaggling geese, not a bunch of people. He reached out to one. When God wanted to save the world from the flood, he called out to one man. Noah, build me an ark in a desert where it's never right. One man. Now preach for 150 years and build. Preach and build. Preach it. One man, Tom. When God wanted to create this new race of people, the chosen people, the covenant people that would lead to the birth of Jesus, he called out to one man, Tom. Abraham, leave your mother and father and go to a place you don't know. And I will bless those who bless you and curse those. Look up in the heavens, Abraham. You see the stars? That's your lineage, if you say yes. One man. When God wanted to set the Hebrews free out of bondage, he didn't call a nation or a committee through a burning bush. He said, Moses, take off your shoes. The place you stand is holy ground. Go to Pharaoh and say, let my people go. When he wanted to save this little tribe of a family, he called to one 17-year-old boy named Joseph and said, Joseph, from the pit to the palace, save your family. When God wanted to spread the gospel to the Gentiles, the unclean, us, he spoke to one man on the Damascus road named Paul and says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou I? And he became the greatest church planner. And he, one man, when God wanted to save the world from sin, he became one man, Tom, Jesus. Men, you're valuable. You are important. You are significant. And the devil wants you to believe a lie that your value is insignificant. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Because if one man says yes to God, here's the facts, Tom. I get excited about this. I really do. If a child gets saved first, 3% of the time, the family gets saved. Mm -hmm. If a woman, God bless women, if they get saved first, 15% of the time, the family gets saved. Tom, when a man says yes to Jesus first, 93% of the time, the whole family comes to know Jesus. So I need men to understand they're the linchpin, the foundation of God's plan. And all he needs is one man. Your life might be in a mess, but God will use it. You may feel dysfunctional, so everybody else is. One man. And how do you change men? This is my specialty. I